Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is wedding guest outfit inspo. I feel like we're all in the same boat at the moment. It's wedding season and all the good dresses keep selling out. It has taken me so long to put this video together because every single dress I went to purchase seemed to be sold out in all sizes. So I've got everything crossed that some of the things on the reel today are still available. I might link some new ones um, that have maybe come in stock that I didn't get to order in time for the video. Things that I would wear to a wedding, things that I really like for a wedding. It's so tricky, especially because a lot of this stuff is very, very floral, which I wouldn't be massively into. There's lots of print, which wouldn't really be me either. Although I do have a floral print on the reel and it's one of my favorites. So maybe I'm eating my words, but yeah, I think when you know your style and you know what you like, you can sometimes be like, there's nothing I would wear. So hopefully this gives you, at the very least, a little bit of wedding guest inspo. I have six dresses on the reel, so not loads, but I do really like them all. I will pop cutaways on the side so you can see what they look like on, and I will link everything below as always, and I'll leave the sizes that I went for as well. I am a UK 10, so hopefully that will help you with size references and everything as well. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first dress on the reel is actually really quite plain, but sometimes I feel like the simplest can work the best. This is a little green number. It's got a slit quite high up the leg, but it's not too high, if you know what I mean. Very, very thin straps, which I really love. Just wear a strapless bra with this. And this is by the brand Vesper, which I got on ASOS. It's a very, very simple cut, but really flattering on lots of shapes and sizes. And actually, this is one of my favorites. I just think it hugs in all the right places. I really like the shape. And you can incorporate any color accessories with this. I just paired it with gold heels for the simplicity of the video, but if you wanted to maybe color contrast, you could do pink with the green. That would work really nicely, pink heels and a pink bag. I will link some accessories below as well if that's helpful to you. What I realized when I was filming this video is that I am missing a gold bag. I paired gold shoes with a lot of the dresses and I was like, I don't have a gold bag, I really need one of those. So if I find one of those online, I'll link that below for you as well. But yeah, for me, I love green and gold. I think it's such a stunning color combo. So if I were to wear this one, I would stick with the gold heels and I would go for a nice little gold bag. So that is dress number one. Next up, we have this one. It's really hard to see this dress in all its glory on the hanger, but I think this is beautiful. I think I might keep this one, maybe not for a wedding, but actually just for holidays, because I feel like this would look equally as stunning with a white linen shirt draped over it and a little flat sandal. I really like the cutout details of this, the little holes right here and then the back. This is actually from Topshop via ASOS um, and I just love the colors. I paired this with an orange heel, but you could equally go for a green or a blue. You could put like any of the colors in the dress and it would look so, so nice. But I went for orange because I had orange heels and I really, really liked it. I got it in a size small, eight to 10. I think the medium was like 12 to 14, which is why I went for the small. But I actually really liked how it fitted. I thought it was just right. So the next dress is actually one of my favorites. I just love the shape of this. It's cut so beautifully. I love the back, the way it's cut out. And actually you could maybe reverse this dress and wear it back to front if you wanted a low V. I didn't try that myself. But yeah, this is a linen material. The one thing I am worried about is it could race really badly. We know what linen's like, but I just think this is stunning. I like the sage green. It's really quite weighty, so maybe not for a really hot holiday wedding if that's where you're headed, but definitely for here in the UK, Ireland, this would be perfect. It's really, really gorgeous. The one thing I will say is I feel like it might be nicer if it was slightly more fitted, so I might actually order this in the size down and see how that fits because I am contemplating keeping this one for a wedding that I have to go to. So this is ASOS Design size 10. I might get the eight just to try it. It also comes in like a cream color, which for me is too close to white for a wedding, which is why I went for the sage, but the cream for maybe a christening or something would be gorgeous. So I'll link both of them below. Another one that you really can't see that well on the hanger and also an absolute wild card for me. I don't think anyone would ever pick this print from me. However, this one on, I think, quite the statement. I think this one's my favorite. I 
love the shape of this it's so lightweight it's just an absolutely stunning cut halter neck i love it's got a slit up the front it's so flowy i have a wedding in italy i really do love this dress i can't believe it though because me in this print it's just not for me and i feel like this is the kind of dress that is for the girl who likes to wear black dresses. And I know this isn't a black dress, but it's got a lot of black in it, which means you can pull black accessories. I went for my black stiletto heels, and I would have went for my black Balenciaga hourglass, just taking the shoulder strap off, only it was downstairs in the car, and I was too lazy to go and get it. But yeah, those are the accessories I would have went for. You could easily pull the red or the pink as well, but I actually like bringing out the black in this dress, and I feel like lots of you will like that as well. So if you're a girl who likes to wear black dresses and wants to try out print, this is one for you. But also if you're a girl like me who likes her neutrals, try this dress on. It makes you feel so, so nice. So this is a real wild card, but I love it. So this is our pretty pink princess dress, if you will. I do really like this one. I love how floaty this skirt is. Just on me personally, you could see my bra at the sides. I would wear a strapless bra with this and I could see it, I couldn't hide it. Um, so that's just something to be wary of if you have a bit of a filler chest. I don't know, I don't know if this would work for you because I wouldn't feel comfortable having my bra on show all day, that's one of the annoying things. But for anyone else, this is just stunning. If you're going to the races, if you've got a christening, as I said before, or maybe graduation, I love this dress. It's got a little tie, so you can tie it round and cinch it in, or you could totally replace the belt with something else. I really do think the little cinch would help. And then with the pleated skirt, it's just so nice and flowy. You do feel like a princess all day, and I just think this is a stunner. And I paired that actually with my new baby, my Jacquemus bag. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it's Jacquemus. Jacquemus? I don't know. Anyway, I got this bag for summer. I'm loving pink for summer and I just really liked this design. I feel like this is a new shape and I love the little card holder that it has right here. So, so handy. I actually stayed in a hotel recently and I popped my key card in there and it was actually so, so handy to have it there. So I went full on pink, but I kept the shoes gold because they did have a pink shoe on, but it was a little too much. You could again, invest in a gold bag and it will go with everything but I just wanted an excuse to wear my new bag so I went with this one and last but not least I had to pick up this dress as soon as I saw it it's my favorite color combination pink and orange just stunning together I also love red and pink but pink and orange is just so like look at that it, it, it's like sunshine. I feel like the orange is reflecting off my face and it makes everything seem sunny. So yeah, I love the color combo of this dress. I picked this dress up for the girls who just want something easy and floaty and that you can eat the three course dinner in and not worry about your tummy. This is a great dress. I don't think it's a great dress for me because I feel like you get that kind of tent style like your chest makes it sit out and it goes like the whole way down and I also don't think this dress works that well belted because you kind of cut across this lovely shaping which I didn't want to do either so what I actually did for the purposes of the video and to make the dress look decent on me was I tied the dress at the back but for an actual wedding that's not practical it doesn't look good you could of course get it taken in to show off your waist because it did end up looking really nice when it was pulled in i do feel like there are girls that will make this dress look absolutely phenomenal and if you get it and you wear it please send me pictures because i need to see because i think it's so stunning i just don't think it looked phenomenal on me but i did want to include it for the purposes of the video because i wanted to try and include something for everyone for every shape and size and it's just beautiful i just love the color combo it's so swishy it's so easy and if not for a wedding for a holiday it's a really lightweight piece and it's just gorgeous and i picked it up oh i picked this up in a size eight actually i sized down because i knew how much material there would be so yes yeah, size down in this if you are going to try it and let me know how you get on. So those are my wedding guest outfit inspo dresses. If you've seen anything that you think would be perfect for a wedding, send me links, 
send me inspo. I still haven't settled on the dress for the wedding that I am going to in just a few weeks time. So I'm still on the hunt. If you think there's a real standout one of those, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite, which ones should I keep? If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. That would make me so, so happy. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I think next week's video is going to be a Zara haul. Yes, it is. Who doesn't love a Zara haul? They are killing it at the moment. Like everything is so gorgeous. So Zara haul incoming next week. I will hopefully see you then. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.